Hey Grimway gang, welcome back to the Grimway family channel. Sorry for this angle that you here have here of me kind of coming up my nostrils. Um, today Grimway gang, other than fluffing my words, we are going to be doing some baking. I got a um, rolling pin off of Amazon the other day and uh, yeah, Hosanna's going to bake some cookies. Because Grimway gang, you know that she's into baking, she's into sewing. Many creative things is our Hosanna, she's into. I said that so backwards. She is into many creative things, there you go. I'm a little bit all over the place just because we had a very good business meeting this morning but now I'm feeling like I've got things that I'm trying to get done it's quarter past 12 we started stuff the day nice and early but I know it's one of them ones where you feel like you're getting stuff done and then swiftly before you know it's three o'clock and no one's had dinner and yeah then you're like oh my gosh pretty much somehow it's just all disappeared so I'm putting some garlic kievs in the oven that's basically one of our go-tos that we get when we go to Costco just because it's simple so and good. easy and they're so tasty. If you go to Costco, they look like this. They come in a packaging like that. Yeah, they're so tasty and I just tend to do them with mashed potato and a bit of veg on the side and everyone seems to like it. And talking about everyone, I have a couple of people here. So I've got Hosanna. Hey, girl. Hey. Are you okay? Yes, I did. Good. Are you looking forward to using this here rolling pin? Definitely. You are? Yes, wonderful. And we have baby Halo over here. Hi, Halo Monet. How are you? Oh, yes, what have you got? You have a rice cake that you're eating, don't you? Are you so happy that you got a rice cake? Yes, you are. And it's all over your chin. And mummy needs to put your bib on. Where did I put her bib? Did you see where I put it, Hosanna? No, I brought it down here. I think Hosanna's gonna, oh, it's over on the seat over there. It's over on the seat. So, are you chomp, chomp, chomping away on your rice cake? Yeah, you're like, okay guys, you can leave me now, I'm going to eat. All right then, we shall leave you be. Houston, can you come and say hello? Houston is coming. She's sitting in the other room with Hazarayaru. Hello, madam. How are you? Yes. You're okay. Excuse me. So what? Why are you over there with your rice cake? Yeah. Where are you supposed to be? Okay, so can you please get back in your chair? Because I think the Grimway gang, when you've finished your rice cake, are going to want to know what that is in the background. What is that behind you? What's no not behind your back? Over there. What's that? Pepper it's your new pepper. Well, it's not really pepper pig. It has a pepper pig <laughs> stick on the top. But it's your new dollhouse. No. Yeah, so you can show us that in a second, okay? Can you go and get in the chair, please? Because you are not meant to be over there with food. And if Daddy was here, oh my goodness, he would not be impressed. So, back up into your chair, please. Thank you so much, my love. Whilst Mummy and Hosanna get on with what we're going to do. Okay, so I have put the potatoes on. Hello, Hezzy. Potatoes on to boil for mashed potato. And we've got garlic kievs for in the oven for lunch. And I know Hezzy came down a minute ago. You guys just saw him. But whilst I was peeling potatoes, he came down and he was like, what's in the oven? As a typical teenage boy it does, they're like food, food, food all the time. I was like, garlic kievs, and he was like, yes, because they love them so much. So there you go. The kids actually do like them. Um, so this rolling pin that I've got has got like roses on it. Houston, don't tell Rudy Shush. It's got roses on it and we're gonna like make that the pattern of the biscuits. I'm hoping it works, but with Hosanna by my side, trusty Hosanna, and it's not just Hosanna that can bake. That one, oh, where are you? This one over here, Hallie. We went to Grandma's Tauranga a couple of weeks ago, isn't it? Yeah. And what did you make? Uh, some chocolate cupcakes. You made some chocolate cupcakes. And yeah. who in particular likes your chocolate cupcakes? Granddad. Granddad Brown. Yeah. He was like, well, do you know what? Hallie is welcome anytime to come and do some baking at our house. And Harper, are you okay? Yeah. Hi. Do you like baking? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I never really. You've not done it by yourself yet, have you? Mm -hmm. And are you happy about that fact yet or not? No, no, no. Harper is not happy. Okay, she's gonna go off. Harper is not happy that what? Oh, she can't do it as well, but I get it because I'd have to do it before as well. Okay, so no, this is the thing in our family, right? So I have to like give my mum a round of applause right now because when I was younger, she used to let me like <laughs> free in her kitchen from about the age of, I wanna say like eight, nine. They'll be like, we'd get to the afternoon time after she tidied up after lunch and everything. And she'd, I'd be like, oh mum, can I bake some cookies? And she would let me go and do it by myself. Like, she'd let me in the kitchen, weighing it all out. Obviously, she'd help me with the oven and that, but like, she would leave me free in the kitchen to do what I wanted to do. But when it comes to me and my kitchen space, I must say, here's what am I like? You are very, very, very protective over your kitchen. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm like, guys, when you come in the kitchen, please can you not drop the crumbs on the floor? Please can you wipe up the side? Because at least if I know I do it, and I know I can, I can, I know it's there, I'm gonna tidy up the da da da, but it's when the kids use the kitchen, and then there might be a few crumbs of this here and there, and I'm just a bit like, 
guys. Uh, right? Oh. You're like, oh, there's something in there. I'll put that one away. So basically, Houston Scarlet. What is going on here, guys? Are you teasing your little sister? No, I'm sister. I Pardon? I was playing with her. You're playing with her. Why is she saying move, move so vigorously? Look at you with the yeah. smile on your face. Now you look cute, but that did not sound cute to me. Why is she saying move so vigorously? Oh, because you saying go away. I reckon, was he trying to get some of your food? Yes, that's what was happening, isn't it? Because she's got a snacker jack and you want a snacker jack. He was, oh, you can have one. You can have one. You can have one. But you need to, but you need to have a plate. Go on, Hezzy's gonna get one for you. Look at you being a nice big brother. I don't feel like he's getting it for you, I think he's gonna eat it himself. You better watch out, because your brother says he's gonna get you a snacker jack. Is there only one left? Oh, oh, that's, oh, girl, you went to take it. He went to buy it himself. Right, you need to go and sit over there on the chair, please, darling. Good boy, and you eat your snacker jack over the plate, please. Right, you can finish yours. You are now no longer under threat of your brother eating a snacker jack, okay? You can finish that all up, and when you finally finish, then you can go and show us your doll house. But yes, what I was saying was that my mum used to let me loose, and I get a really protective, protective over my kitchen, but as of late, Hosanna has been in the kitchen cooking up a storm or baking up a storm. Like the other day, we had some friends around, and she said, oh, mum, can I do dessert? And I was like, okay, cool, fine. And she literally was just, she danced me to get a couple of rest, um, ingredients. I don't know why she's just here to you now, but she asked me get a couple of ingredients it was like was it milky bar oreo. oreo cookies and a few other things and i let her do it but at the same time i now have hallie and harper both like well if hosanna gets to do it why don't we and i'm like hosanna's a bit older guys than yeah. you so obviously she's a bit further ahead but hallie and harper are not having it so when we went to grandma's the other day hallie so cleverly just kind of went off to the grand up off to the grandma off to the kitchen and was like grandma can i do some baking and then before i knew it um after dinner hallie had made these cupcakes with grandma so round of applause to you love i will let you free oh you're trying to save the grapes packet from the baby i will let you free in my kitchen a bit more often as long as it's tidy afterwards okay that has to, that has to be the deal yeah sorry i've caught you with your mouth full and you were trying to you was trying to save the grapes pack which is here from this grabber tron because anything that is in this kind of vicinity vicinity around here yeah she just puts her hands out and will just try and pick up so you have to be careful okay so i'm leaving those in the oven to stay warm you can use the other oven you're gonna have yours no the potatoes aren't mashed up yet oh you're having it mm -mm, look at this kid he's already gonna okay so you're having yours with rice because you're this is what i'm saying typical teenage boy he's like i'm hungry we did have breakfast quite early this morning didn't we well, I always do. Well, you always do. Okay, we all joined you to have breakfast quite early, so. All right, fine, you can have yours with rice then. That's not a problem. And Hosanna and I are gonna get on and sort out these cookies, bake them. I'm kind of gonna let her do most of it, so. Yeah, Hosanna. We're coming. Little bit of a fail. I'm trying to get the ingredients out of the cupboard and then I'm just like, okay, there's no flour. So no baking can happen if we haven't got any flour, obviously. So fortunately, it's daddy to the rescue because he's on his way back home. And I was like, are you anywhere near the shops? Unfortunately, he's right near the shops. So he's gone in to get me some flour. So daddy should be home with the flour soon. And in the meantime, Houston Scarlet. Oh, thank you, Hosanna. You're sitting there reading a book. Houston, do you want to show us your doll's house? I you want to do it? Okay, you can actually show the Grimoire gang. You hold the camera. Mm. All right, so you have mm. to make sure you're looking at the doll's mm. house. Good girl. It's so mm. cool, isn't it? Yes. Do you love it so much? Yes. Yeah, and then if I hold it and I can see you playing with it, and you can show the Grimoire gang all the little pieces inside. Yes. Yeah? So if you go and get the little bits from inside, and you can show us, like, what have you got in there? What's in your doll's house? What is that? Yeah. That is a chair. That is a chair for your dolly. Okay, and what else have we got? That's a stool, isn't it? I think yeah. this is a stool. It's supposed to be a table. Oh, a table. It's a bit of a low table. I think it's a footstool. No, there's a table in there. What's that? Washing. It's for washing. What are you supposed to do? Wash your hands? Yeah. Yeah, you can wash your hands right here. And the yeah. tap even turns. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Oh, dear. There we go. Oh, kind of. Doesn't want to kind of show you properly but the tap even turns doesn't it yes. is that so good mm. do you like it yes. yes yes awesome and what else is in your doll's house Houston is the elephant meant to be in your doll's house because everywhere I've seen this doll's house this elephant is the elephant living in the doll's house that's nice <gasps> and a is that a bed a cot oh, it's like a princess bed isn't it yeah. there we go it's upside down mm. Jeez, look, what that's else awesome is elephant can go to sleep no, in the bed <laughs> what's this a grill? Go on, Harper, you can show me how it goes. Ah, oh, so you can cook all your food on it. That is nice. Yeah, 
Oh, you've got another chair. So one dolly, one dolly can have um, its dinner with another dolly. Maybe the elephant can have dinner with its friend. Well, not the grill. The grill is not its friend. But we can with find him a friend. With the dog? Where's, oh, the dog. Is this, do you want to put the doggy? Is that your doggy? Yeah. She put it on the chair and they can, oh, oh see ya. No. <laughs> they can have dinner together. Oh, that is nice, Houston. They're having a nice time. And Houston, you've been sat here for ages. Yesterday was Sunday afternoon and she was just Look, playing, playing, playing away. They've got a garden upstairs in the roof. The roof? Yes, yeah, so the roof comes off. Oh, the first time doesn't break it. No, I'm joking. And, <laughs> and if you lay it on the floor, the two pieces go together as a garden on the floor. So they've got a back garden. How, you know what they can even do? If they want to have dinner in the garden, in it, Harps? Yeah. They could take their chairs. Are you going to do it, Hughes? Yeah. And put them in the garden. They can have dinner outside. I love the smell. If you sit them here, they can have dinner together. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Lovely. And what else have you got, Houston? What's this? Bed. It's a bed. Well, that's a rock. It's like a cot, rocking isn't it? Cot. It's a cot that rocks. A rocking cradle. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So that's for a baby. And is that everything that's inside your playhouse? Um, there's something. Um, these are the stairs. I thought we already shut all the stairs. Oh, the stairs actually come out. Okay, I didn't know that. It's wow. very cool. Are you so happy that you got this? <laughs> Who do you have to say thank you to? Thank you. Thank you, Mum. Not Mum. Thank you, Auntie. Auntie T. Yes, Auntie T got it for you, didn't she? Which is so kind of her. And. I got my dress. And yes, you've got your dress. We'll have to show your dress you, another time. You can get. Pardon? You can't Your unicorn dress. You are so cute. Say it again. Unicorn dress. Your unicorn dress. That's okay. right. But but where is your unicorn dress at the moment? Upstairs. Why is it upstairs? Because of what? Because we need to put it down there. No, we need to put it in the wash. Mummy needs to hand wash it because it's got milk from breakfast all down it because it's the first thing you put on this morning, isn't it? Yes. Well, thank you for showing us your doll's house, Houston. Yes. It's actually quite, um, quite interesting because on top of the roof, you know where that top, top bedroom yes. is? Yes. Mm -hmm. The hidden dresses was under the roof. What, in here? Yeah. What, what are the dresses? The the dresses that she. Oh, the dress! Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry, when Auntie T gave it to us, yeah. yeah, the dress was in here and the roof was down, so we couldn't and see it. And then we lifted up the roof, and it's like ah, a surprise dress. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and what is that? The it's fridge? Either a fridge or like a. Wall. Isn't it like a fridge freezer? This is the fridge bit. Yeah. Putting your food in, and then that's supposed to be like the freezer bit, I think. Or it can just be a cupboard. I can't even open it. I'll put it that it can be whatever you want it to be. Oh, it's a food fridge. Okay, cool. Thank you for correcting us, Miss Houston Scarlet. Lovely. All right, well, hopefully Daddy will be back. A food fridge, you put your food in it. Daddy will be back with the flour. We can finally bake these cookies. We are back and we have some flour because Daddy, look, no, it's flour. Okay, so it's not flour and it's not fleur. It's flour. Flour. Came to the rescue. Dad came to the rescue yeah. with the flour and give me this. Oh, yeah. it's all sorry. Is it, it was all um, yeah, like look. It's always falling out in it from some part of the package. But yeah, it'll be got it. Thank yes, you so darling. much. So, madam, what do we need? What ingredients do we need for these so, biscuits? We're going to need some sugar. Yes. Some flour. Some flour. Some flour. Some flour. Yeah. Um, and some then butter. some butter. Some butter, yeah. Um, and I mean, you could add, add eggs if you want or not. It's kind of. We're not going to be doing it with eggs, are we? I think we're just doing flour, sugar, butter, and then some maybe like some mixed spice. Yeah. yeah. All right. So if you get all that out, I think you may need to go to that cupboard, mightn't you? Yes. Talk about how affectionate Houston has become in yes. like the last few months. Uh huh. Okay. He was the hug and you know, lovely, lovely. Oh, lovely. you love your daddy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let us know when you've got all your ingredients, Hosanna. Have you gone into the pantry? Yeah, she's in there somewhere. Okie dokie, Zanzibar. Mummy's finally ready. You have got some ingredients. We have the flour, we have the butter, we have the sugar. And you are using scales today. Yes. You are using scales. Okay, you're weighing it out. And how much How much flour do you need to weigh? Do you know? 250 grams. 250 grams of flour. And then you're going to put the rest together. And what do you have to do in this process? Uh, we have to put it in the fridge after we make the dough so that it's stiff enough to like roll out. Okay, cool. And that's going to have to be in the fridge for about an hour, isn't it? So you're going to mix it all together, um, put it on cling film, I think is what you need to do, yeah. isn't it? And then uh, you're going to... 
like wrap it up in slim film. Okay, and then put it in the fridge for now. Okay, cool. Well, really and truly, because this has been such a prolonged um, time to get to the actual baking, I'm going to let you do it <laughs> and let you concentrate. Um, and then I think once you've actually mixed it all together, we shall come and see you rolling it out. What's up, Daddy? I'm concerned at what sweet treats my daughter is cooking up for me again as I am back in the gym. And I'll have you know, I walked past the sweet aisle in um, Tesco's today. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You walked past it. Yeah, I walked past Round it. Round of applause so for I went Daddy. Straight and got he walked past, oh my days, this kid. You just go and carry on training. Anyway, we'll come back. Well done to you. Well done. Well done, girl. Right, we are doing some mixatroning. Very, very good. I like this. So, but the only thing is though, it's gonna need to be hard enough to be a dough. Yeah, I know. Oh, is that what happens when it goes in the fridge, isn't it? Yeah. Because you were like, mum, we can just add more flour. And I was like, yeah, but then it might be dry. Okay, do you know what? I trust you. I, I trust your... And a lot of butter as well. Okay, cool. I trust your um, culinary knowledge. Knowledge. Wow, I said that correct the first time. Go, mummy. Okay, cool. When it's like a dough, we'll come back and see that it's the kind of the right consistency, yeah. whether that's before it goes in the fridge or afterwards. And mashed potatoes have been done, the vegetables are heating up, and everybody else is going to be having their lunch whilst we're waiting for the dough to be finished. Yes. Okie dokie, sweetheart. Is this ready or is it falling apart? I don't think it needs to be tied up though. So as long as it sits in the fridge, it's closed like that. Just wrap it over. There you go. And you can just put it in the fridge, Miss Perfectionist. Yes, there you go. And you can put it into the fridge now. And we'll bring it out in a minute and it should hopefully be hard. Okay, so guys, I've just got my dough out of the fridge. Um, and it still doesn't seem that hard, so I'm going to add a bit of flour to it. But I've already floured my surface, surface, my surface, and then I've buttered my pans, and I'm just going to try add some flour and then roll my dough up. Okay, so guys, I'm getting my lovely patterned rolling pin out here. Oh, let me open it. Let's see, take them. There we go. Right, you know what? If I just try and get it out from this end. There we go. Look at that beautiful masterpiece. Um, so I've got my dough to a good consistency now, and I've rolled it out, rolled it out with my flat rolling pin. Um, and now I'm going to go in with a pattern. I'm just going to go. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. You might not be. Oh, oh can you see it? Oh, yes. You I yes, don't know you, if you can guys see it in the camera, camera, but in here you can see it. So I'm just going like that, and it's very, very, very pretty. Press down on it. Don't press too hard, otherwise it'll start ripping. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut it out in my little shapes. I've got lots of different shapes. I've got this, like a flower kind of one. I've got some little circles and some stars. We didn't so, see the circles, 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 and some stars. So I'm going to go in with my mini star first. Go here where there's a good pattern. There we go. Shovel it. Oh, look how pretty that is. So now I'm just going to place that oh. in our buttered in pan. Buttered oh, pan. Hosanna's buttered pan. Yep. Um, and now, guys, so tip, when you are about to go and do your, like, cutting out, like, get, put your cutters in a bit of um, flour. You can see, flour. I'm doing it. You can put your cutters in a little bit of flour, and it helps the um, cookie dough to not stick to what you're to Make it. this. Another one. Don't waste any. Sometimes it'll come off in the cutter, like you, like it did on the first time, and then sometimes, sometimes it'll just come out. And you might get some excess pieces from you ripping it around so that it. One, that one went totally a fail. Look Love it. So we're gonna redo that, and I'm gonna go with my bigger star here. There we go. Go right here. There we go. Whoa. Now I want to try and pick this up. But there we go. There we go. Beautiful. I'm just going to put it there. You don't waste any of the pan space. There we go. Good um, with stars is that you can go in the other. Yeah, like in the, in the corner of corners. One. But not too much so they're touching so they can't come out. Yeah. Expand. Theme. But with these, they're like kind of biscuits, not um, cookies. Sometimes with like chocolate chip cookies, they you it, they'll like expand. Expand. Um, Expand. New yeah. word. And then she's trying to get a circle right of flower, flower. Sorry, okay. Helen. Know your shapes. Place that, that in there. Yeah. Probably do like five or four in a pad. Yeah. Go with the smaller circle. Yeah, I'm gonna do a smaller circle now, so I can get it in the space. It is better when it comes out in the cookie cutter because it's just a lot easier to do. But back to what I was saying with the, like the um, 
like expanding things. Um, these will expand a little bit, but they won't expand as much as like cookies. Cookie like because these are because these are like biscuits. Like if you know what cookies are, like cookies are like crisp on the outside and then soft and chewy on the inside. Well, I biscuits are quite a thin layer and they're quite just they're either they're fully soft all through the thing or like fully like crunchy. Um, but I feel like this will, and they're a lot thinner than the other ones. So yeah, I've got half of my dough here, and then I've She's still got loads of that dough here. Yeah, um, I'm gonna keep on going with these cookie cutters. I'm gonna do a medium size. So that's the so last medium. one we haven't done. So yeah. and look, it's getting awkward for her because she has to un, she has to you know whip things. Do that one there. Do that one there. Oh, she did. These are the only pans that we have right now for this five of okay. smaller so, yeah. ones. I'm gonna go do, right there. I'm either gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little circle there. Okay. I'm gonna try and fill up the pan. So we're gonna try just like that. So uh, if I change it around a little bit more, I might be able to fit in just a couple more. Wow. Amazing movement. And then when I find, whenever I tried, to, even when I'm doing these things with uh, some adults as well, like when I find to try and move things, I always rip them. Yeah, that does happen quite a lot. But that happened with me so. Happy days. Um, yeah, I'm going in with another small circle because it's easier to put, gonna put fit it right in the spaces. Start that moved up that side of the thing. Oh, there we go. That is good-ish spacing, kind of. But if they get stuck together a little bit, you can either just well, go you've got seven, you can, so you can either just go ahead with like the cookie cutter again, or you can just try and pick them, like take them all out, and then like cut them a little bit. Because like, sometimes you might have a little, little like thingy, a uh, spatula. Yeah, like, some like this, something like this. Yeah. Oh, got Hosanna's face in it, and then you can like go like that on it, so it might break. So I'm yeah up yeah and after this I'm going to sorry so I've got some excess dough in and I'm just going to put that off to the side and work with that dough that I've already got first and then I'll come back to these because I'll have excess from this dough as well yeah batch here uh, so yeah I'm going to put the two excesses at the end together so now I'm just trying to add a little bit more flour to my surface because that's 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 Lovely baking skills. Yeah, that's probably the word you've got. Yeah, better word than chef. I'm going to roll it out on my flat. Rolling pin. Yeah, rolling pin, that's what it's called. Rolling pin again, go ahead like this. Make sure you flour the bottom of your surface, otherwise the cookies or biscuits will just get like stuck to the... Yeah. The rolling pin, did you say flour the rolling pin? Yeah, no, I said flour your surface. But um, you also flour your rolling pin. So you need to flour a lot of stuff with yeah. um, dough because then you can actually like so, what's it, it called? It yeah, because once it won't stick. It won't stick once. I me and Hallie and Grandma Brown, shout out you, um, grandmother. Um, we were all baking once in our kitchen, and um, me and Hallie were left for a second. It wasn't like with any ovens on or anything, but we were just in the middle of making the dough, and we, we went to roll it up. Don't touch it, okay? So we we decided to touch it, naughty children. Um, but anyways, we touched it and we didn't flour it or any of the surface or anything, and then the dough had just stuck to the um. Thing. Surface. And we managed we to of, get we out. We were kind of like rushing the bacon. Um, we were kind of rushing the bacon. And rushed bacon is not good, so yeah, don't rush the bacon. But anyways, we just done it and we didn't flour any surfaces and then it just stuck to the surface and um, because we didn't put it in the fridge or anything. So yeah, and it just stuck to the surface and then it kind of ruined the whole bacon thing. And I was just there trying to get off of the surface and so she was like, this is We worked it out then. Yeah, she was like, this is what <laughs> Watch the, um, cookies, but yeah, lesson learned. Now I'm just going learned. 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 Um, I'm going with my patterned flowers again. This is actually really cool, it's so pretty to like do because you just get these lovely, beautiful roses after or whatever pattern you get or buy. Yeah, it's super cute. I am going to cut the rest of these out and come back to you when we're getting after I put them in the oven, in the, not in the oven, after I put them in their tray. So. Tray. Out. So guys, I've cut out all the shapes of my cookies. Okay. They are almost done. I just need to put them in the oven and put them to bake. So yeah. This is one of the final biscuits. Yeah. 
And this is the rest. <laughs> This is the rest. Uh, why am I laughing, uh, Hosanna? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Daddy's like, why is it? Come and see, and you'll, you'll know why oh. it's so funny. <laughs> I like that. I put too many in a pan, and like they all squish together. I mean, this one isn't too bad. That's not bad, but the problem is, but so on these, on yeah. these, we can, uh, we can not Dad, see much like of a that. pattern. Mm. They taste nice, though. Nice, really nice. Look at who's looking. Look at who's looking. Oh, you have a little bit? You can have a bit. Look. You want to try some? Two seconds, um, Houston. You're not going to get forgotten. Oh, look, look. She knows it's coming. She's ready. Ah. Uh... Oh. Oh. Mm. Is, that, is that good, Halo? Is it yum, yum, yum. yum. <laughs> Tasty. But on these ones, two sex Houston, these ones you can actually see a bit of the pattern like I showed you before. Mm -hmm. Like you can see, yeah, you can see the flowers there on it and the leaves. But um, I thought it might have come out a bit stronger, like the pattern itself. Yeah. Maybe it's we did something good. wrong, but it's still, it's still cool. They taste good uh, and that's all fine. <laughs> All right, so it's been a long, busy day in our household, but a good day, guys. Yeah. Yes. yes, it's been a good day. And Grimway Gang, thank you for sticking with us for another vlog. And if you haven't already, what do they need to do? Yes, that's yeah. right. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye. Let's let's rehearse it next time. Okay, bye.